Hello, hello, hello. Hey, this is Teresa. So this is day four of Ignite Your Feminine Genius Magnetism Challenge. So, who is gonna join me here tonight? So hello, hello. Yeah, so um, as you're jumping on, say hi and where you're from. I'm going to just check on my status here, a couple things while ladies are coming on. So hello, so if you're joining me, yeah, so hey, where are you from? And um, so tonight we are going to talk about sexual energy and embodying our sexual energy and the yes practice. So type in yes if you want to hear more about that, how to embody your feminine genius and how to be really present in your body. So yeah, so type on yes here and where you're from if you're joining. So I'll look down once in a while because I'm able to see the comments here have two different cameras going on. So, um, so hi Rachel, yes from Toledo, okay. Yay, who else is here with me? Just say hi, where you're from. If you are ready to embody your feminine genius, I wanna know how to do that. So hi, hi Mary Suzanne Schilling, hi, yes, of course, yes. Yes, I think you've been joining me here most of the days. So I know that a lot of you have just signed up and you're just joining in, you gotta play catch up with the other three days. It's already, it's already Thursday. So yes, yes, absolutely, Rachel, yes. Um, and then there's replays too for, there's several ladies that can't watch live, that's perfectly okay. So you can watch the replay. I'm gonna keep them in here in the group um, till the end. So you can catch up on that. So if you're just joining in, I see a couple more ladies joining, just say hi, where you're from. We are going to talk about sexual energy, how to embody that, the yes practice. So um, yeah, you ready for that? So just type in yes where you're from. That just lets us all kind of like be in an energy here together, saying yes to our up leveling, saying yes to being our best selves, saying yes to epic love, saying yes to having a juicy relationship, attracting our, our soulmates, getting out of the, the drama, the dysfunction, you know, things like that. We've talked about so many things throughout the last three days, right? Yesterday we talked about disconnection and identifying, identifying warning signs, things like that. So if you're here, just say hi. It just helps me, it keeps the energy going and it makes me know who I'm able to serve and support. Um, and it just allows yourself to be part of the community as well. So, okay. So yes, so I told you what we're talking about today. So if you haven't met me yet, if it's your first time, thank you, welcome. I'm Teresa Salhi, feminine genius and love coach, relationship coach, dating coach, however you wanna call it, for women who are on a path to have epic love, to find their soulmate, to have extraordinary awakening relationships for the long term, not just for, you know, on again, off again. Perhaps you've been through that. Perhaps you have never been married. Perhaps you've only been in maybe short-term relationships. Perhaps you have been married and, you know, on a divorce and you're ready to get back out there. So this is your time. So you're saying yes to you and so we're saying yes to our practice tonight. So if you're just joining, yeah, say where you're from. I'm gonna have to just keep looking down here just to make sure I don't miss a comment, um, okay? Anyway, so yesterday, like I said, we talked about dysfunction, disconnection, ways to help you identify if those things are happening to you and why. And we talked about the Awaken Love journey, which is something that I offer. It's a, a 90 day journey where you take your awakened woman, high leveled self through this process and continue to up level so you can continue to create better love relationships, attract the right men into your life, 
And so through that process, I was walking through that with you. And, you know, I thought I would give you a couple of examples of women that I've worked with. So um, I think I wrote one earlier in a post. So yeah, so Nancy, when she came to me, she was over 50, I think maybe 52, 54, something like that. And she had had a long, wonderful marriage, had adult children at this point, and had been divorced for eight years. So I see several women joining. So if you're just joining, be sure and say hi, where you're from. Um, and so it's been eight years. So it's been eight years, no dates, no sex, no love, and although she was very successful in other areas of her life. So if you've been with me through this journey, you know we've been talking about the energies and the traits of the feminine and the masculine and what repels and what attracts, right? So it's all energy. We all have both of them, but Nancy was very much in the masculine energy and creating her business. That's okay, right? We've talked about all of that. But she was at a point where she'd almost given up on love, on meeting him. She wanted, you know, she was saying, there's no good men out there. There's certainly no good spiritual men out there. But yet there was just this deep, deep desire that she just wanted to try a little bit more. So walking through the process with her, we had to peel back this masculine I don't know, um, persona that she was carrying through with her in her life. And it was working so well in her business, but it wasn't attracting men. So she was thinking that men weren't there for her when the truth of it is she wasn't allowing them to be there for her. So Nancy was able to definitely find love and she found a spiritual man and she realized that there is definitely good men out there. Another woman that I work with is Lynn, well, not now, but was Linda. Linda, pretty much the same story. Linda had been, she'd never been married, but she was in that cycle that we talked about yesterday. Um, just dating, one date here, one date there, just kind of that recycle of dating because either she was thinking that they weren't good enough, they weren't coming to the table and showing her all that they had fast enough, so she was moving on immediately and feeling, again, there's no good men out there. Or if she felt like this one is a good one, he was not showing up for her after one or two dates. So she was, you know, crying, feeling devastated, feeling ready to give up again. And the truth of it is the same exact thing was happening to her. She had so many rules. I think out there, there's all these rule books on dating and, and she was, and you know, the truth of it is there's some good things out there, but she was following them so to the T that she was controlling every breath he took and she wasn't allowing him to be there for her. So, you know, we talked about this. The masculine is really wants to be a woman's hero, but if he can't find the space and he can't breathe when he's with you and it's, he has to be, go through the checklist right off the bat, it's kind of turning him off. So those are a couple of examples. Um, another woman, Jamie, she was mid thirties, you know, and had never been married and really wanted to get married and have children, right? And she was climbing the corporate ladder and she was very, very shy with men. She didn't know how to open up. She didn't really understand men. She was one of those women that felt like she had to just give of herself constantly. Remember we talked about the people pleaser, the over giver, and she always felt depleted and never felt like she was ever getting any of the love in return. And she was very heartbroken and very hurt and felt that there was so much wrong with her. And it wasn't, she just needed to embody her personal power instead of constantly giving it away. A personal power for women is not the same for men, right? We've talked about that.
it's totally different. And so she needed to really identify, not only did she just want to get married and have a baby, but there was so much more that she didn't really know that she wanted that she wanted. And so when I walked the ladies, if you were here yesterday, through the Awaken Love process, I didn't tell you all of these things, these things about these other women. And so it's through the pain of being hurt and being rejected and feeling like there's something wrong with you and you can't find love and now you're too old and maybe you can't ever have the child that you want or you've been divorced once or twice. And I promise you, I promise you, absolutely, it's not true. Everything that you can go through in the Awakened Love takes you through how to demasculinize yourself that you don't even know is happening. And it's only happening because, well, society kind of teaches us that way as women, to be the superwoman and to do it all. So I promise you, you will learn if there's something, if you're not attracting men, if you're putting yourself out there, if you're feeling like you're on again, off again, or always fighting with your mate or those type of things, it's probably just coming to the table with the wrong energy and not understanding that. And over time, it's beating you up and it's breaking you down and you're feeling less and less about yourself. I promise you that can change. Also, I want to promise you that there's a whole journey through love. I take this very seriously and I, I think you do too or you wouldn't be here with me, right? That there's this love that's kind of missing. We all want it but we don't know how to get it. And so when you walk the path with me, I promise you that we'll uncover more and more love energy within you that maybe it's just been shrinking and shrinking because you haven't felt it for a long time. You've been hurt, you've been, you know, you've been busy in your life too, right? So it's just getting further and further away from it. And so sometimes we don't even know exactly, we just know something's missing and it's hurting. So I call it the feminine genius love map. And so I walk women through that to uncover the beliefs that are not serving her, the lifestyle that's preventing her from having it. I promise you everything will dissipate that's blocking love to you and you absolutely will have the best relationship of your life. You'll meet the best man that's right for you. Maybe not tomorrow, but I promise you it will happen. You'll feel alive in your own skin again. You'll love yourself more again. You'll design your entire life starting right now that is going to start attracting the love to you. Unbeknownst to you that there's probably things in your life that's blocking love and it has nothing to do with you. It's maybe what you're doing in your life or what who's around in your energy, what your environment is. So those are the things that Awaken Love peels back all the layers and it definitely finds you love, it sustains your love, it, it cleans up the relationship that you might be in that's starting to fall apart. I don't always work with married women, but I absolutely do. And, um, and an interesting story about that is, so I was working with a married woman and they, her and her husband both were in real estate business. So if you're just joining this year and say hi and where you're from, I'd love to see who is here um, with the group tonight. So thank you for joining. And you can say yes if you're ready to hear more about how to embody your feminine genius and the sexual energy. But um, so anyway, this woman came to me, she was married, her and her husband had their own business, um, very successful in real estate, but they were really, really good friends, but they weren't lovers. The sexual energy was completely gone. Sexual energy as we all have our own sexual energy as being a female or being a man, but then the sexual relationship was gone. In fact, it was so gone that he was sleeping in the other bedroom and she was just devastated. She was absolutely devastated. And what had happened is she was a very, very strong-willed woman. So when I brought up talking about feminine energy, I think she bit my head off when I first brought it up. And this isn't the first time because there's this belief system that to be in your feminine is weak and powerless and you don't have a say in your life and you get walked all over and being passive is a negative thing when the truth of it is 
being passive means that you're not trying to control every single thing, that you're so in tune with what you want and you've designed your life and yourself with it, that you're more in flow so you don't have to force it. That's more what it means from the feminine energy. But anyway, so, so it took some work, you know, and for her to really work on this and what she really wanted was her man to be a man, to like take her out, to swoop her up and make love to her and cherish her and hold her hand and come back to the matrimony bed, right? Back to the bedroom. It was very, very beautiful, very hard, very beautiful, very awakening, very blossoming for a woman that was over 50 to peel back the layers of the life that she designed by being a strong woman and making success, but pushing him away. And you know, and he has to take ownership of it too, right? So he, what happened was he became more in the feminine and she, she became more in the masculine. And sometimes in relationship, the roles do change and it's okay. When we understand that and know how to go between that to create the relationship harmony, it's perfect. But not having those skills, not understanding the difference, that's when it causes the disharmony and the relationship to break down. But these are things that we don't learn in school. They're, you know, we don't really understand this. We just know that things fall apart or I'm not attracting a man. And we're feeling, maybe you, if you're here, if you're still single, if you're looking for the right one, just getting further and further away from your authentic, beautiful self, right? And so, that's why we talk about this. That's why I offer this because I've been there too. I went through the same journey. It sucks. It's painful, but I promise you, I can help you through it. So that's Awaken Love. So what we're going to talk about tonight, um, and we'll talk more about that too, and you can definitely book a private call with me and we'll talk through how it will work exactly for you in your life. But right now, you know, um, I want to... I've talked about the energy, I've talked about the traits, I've talked about the dysfunctions. I want to give you an opportunity to feel into that energy yourself. Um, I even talked about bringing more pleasure. You know, the energy of the feminine is really to be the light, to be the, the joy, to be the inspiration. And so if we can't be that for ourselves, we can't bring in any joy in our own life because we've been too busy. We're doing it all ourselves, raising kids, all of that. Um, or there's this expectancy that only the man can do that for us. We have to sit and wait. But the truth of it is everything is energy and everything that you're doing right now is either conducive to bringing more to you, keeping you right where you're at, or taking you further away from it. So my program, my message here for every woman is to embody everything that she wants on an internal level first, and then it starts showing up. You'll be divinely guided with everything within you to attract everything you want, especially love. So, okay, so where was I going? All right, so we're going to go, oh yeah, so I just been saying about the pleasure about those energy of all this. So there is a way to actually connect to it in your body. The feminine power energy resides inside her body where the masculine down in the center in the womb space where the masculine is more up here in the head space. So it's more of it. It kind of goes out externally <laughs> where the feminine is more to breathe down into it, to connect internally to it. So it's softer, but yet just as powerful, if not more so. So um, you'll be able to do this, and I recommend that you do, especially if you've never done this practice before, more on your own. I don't want to um, take the time to get you way into yourself where you don't want to come back and be present with me, because this is about being present present as well and I'm going to show you how to even do that as well but um so yes yeah, so in the like between if you know anything about chakras 
The root chakra is at the tailbone and then up by the belly button is the um, our next chakra. So within the middle of that is our womb space and the womb is our power center of energy. And if we can connect there, we can kind of light up from inside. It grounds us and we walk differently, we talk differently, and we feel more connected to our truth, to our wisdom, to our intuition. This is the energy that comes out of us that we don't see, but we feel. So, now what happens to women, busy women, um, you know, the job, we're having to be in that external, get it done energy that we lose connection. And so the energy within our body can get very dormant and kind of like, don't even know what it feels like, what it is. And then if we've been single for a long time and we don't have sexual experiences, it becomes even more dormant. But the way that you can connect to it, so I'm gonna walk you through this. And if you wanna take notes, absolutely or we'll just, I'll do a quick practice with you and then um, do more on your own, okay? So, because the energy is down in your womb space, in your hip space, so maybe if you're just sitting up straight in your chair right now, and I mean, I'm gonna look at you at the camera, but you can look down, but don't, you know, don't completely close your eyes or we're not going into a meditative state. I'm just wanting you first to practice bringing your energy down out of up here you know just looking forward listening intently but just let it drop down into your body and as you do that imagine that there's this beautiful golden bowl that just sits right there in your hip in that womb space area of your body and there's a bowl just holds all your love and light and your power source. I mean, even if you are a woman that doesn't have a womb, you still have the energy. Um, you still have the energy. So just drop your, just drop it down in that space. And what I want you to imagine as you're breathing down in that space, as in that bowl of loving light, there is just milk and honey, milk and honey all mixed up, super yummy, super juicy, super bright and beautiful, this beautiful caramel color. But just imagine without really moving yourself like this, but imagine that you're moving your hips and your energy. Imagine that you're moving that energy around that bowl, that caramel milk and honey. So what you're doing is you're just practicing connecting within, breathing down into that space, and just seeing if you can feel anything. Now, if you don't, it's okay. I mean, here we are in this cyberspace, and that's why I want you to take this away and do it later. And it might take two or three or four practices and it's absolutely okay. The more it's become dormant, the more that we haven't connected there, the more it takes practice. And then sometimes you might start to feel, and it might feel weird, but I just want you to practice it so that it'll feel more and more like a breath of fresh air, like loving energy, like welcome home, I mean, the truth of it is, as women, we are extremely powerful. We have, we are creators of the entire planet. We can give birth. And some of us, maybe not, but we still have the energy space in us. And if we haven't given birth or we can't because of a health thing, we still embody that energy within us. That's what we were born with. So we have got to connect there connect to our own love and light. So as you practice this and you keep going down in there and you keep trying to you know, move that around, imagine this energy, this golden honey, milk and honey, caramel, golden color. Just imagine the energy lighting up. 
and imagine it is lighting up from within you. And when it, it lights up from in you, that's what sends out into the world. So imagine it kind of moving up to your heart space, opening up your heart, you know, being hurt, being in bad relationships, being lonely, the heart gets closed. It, we get that guarded energy right and we shut down. But we've got to open it up. We've got to let love in. And so everything that we've been talking about these last four days is how you can let more love in. And it starts with your connection to yourself. You absolutely have to embody what you want and you will absolutely receive it because this is what attracts it. So, and then also imagine it moving down, down through your legs and down into Mother Earth. This is what grounds you to Mother Earth, the Mother Earth energy. And I'm going to show you how to use this grounding when we talk about presence here in just a moment. But just imagine this moving up and down through you. And so I want you to take this away and I want you to take it away and just continue to practice. Perhaps you're not feeling anything right now. So be okay with that and just know that this is where you connect. Now the yes practice is about how can you say yes to yourself, let yes to pleasure, yes to feeling good. So the other day, I think it was on day two, we talked about how you can bring pleasure into your life by something you can give to yourself whether it would be pleasure on buying flowers for yourself, whether it be pleasure hanging out with your girlfriends because the oxytocin that we get from each other when we allow ourselves to love each other up, whether it be pleasure from belly dancing or moving, and actually that is a very good exercise to help move this energy too. So go to a belly dancing class, buy a DVD, whatever it is, or just turn on, this is what I do, I just turn on the music and I just dance in the house. So just move the energy but this pleasure this practice for the yes practice right now i'm talking about as you're sitting there listening to this and just imagine moving the energy through your body anywhere through your body anywhere we have very busy lives and there's a lot of tension that gets filled up and we get overly busy remember i told you that it increases the cortisol hormone which is stress so where can you send loving energy to your body right now and just say yes to it yes when you send love to a part of your body and say yes and allow yourself just to feel good in that moment to relax that tension this is saying yes to you allowing more pleasure enjoyment into your life this is saying yes, that you love yourself, that you love your body. Maybe you haven't been able to say yes to that for a long time because you're expecting the yes to only come from the man. You're expecting it and I want you to have that relationship. But if it's become doormat with the relationship, no sexual um, activity or no loving activity, nobody putting their arm around you, no, no yes to supporting you and hugging you and feeling good that way. I know it hurts. And so we become very guarded. So when you start saying just yes to a massage of my feet, say yes to a stretch of my neck. And as you go away from our call today, I want you to practice this even more. I'm going to give you this the full version of this yes practice. If you've registered for this program with this five day challenge, I promise you if you if you pre-registered that I would give you an audio of a full practice that we're gonna do here. So that will be what I'll give you. And you'll spend more time, so this is just casual, you know, kind of just practicing it that a little bit and to knowing the importance of it to open up to being having more pleasure. If you're in a relationship and maybe the sexual energy has died, there's just fighting and so there's just backs against each other in the bed 
it feels weird the longer that it goes on the more hurtful it feels and it's like you don't know how to get back to where you used to be you practice it with yourself first by just being with yourself and then we'll work together and how to bring it open to him in the awakened love i promise you it can happen but you're saying yes to you right now i certainly hope my phone doesn't die it's trying to tell me it's getting low battery okay I'm just going to continue to move forward. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do? If you'll just sit there in that space and give yourself some good energy, I'm going to go get my phone charger. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, but just give me a second. So just keep breathing into that and just kind of move your energy around. How can you say yes to more pleasure, more feeling? How can you ease the parts that have stress? You know, <clears throat> I remember when I was learning this and um, Going to yoga, okay, just a second. Going to yoga, where's that? Um, and feeling really, really tight in my body and it wouldn't stretch. And I remembered this, this feminine energy embodiment practice. I remembered to send love to the parts of my body that hurt. And all of a sudden, the yoga stretch just got easier. The more we can say love to our, send love to ourselves and all of our body, the more we're opening up the energy to feel good in our moment, to say yes to our moment, but also the energy to receive. Remember, the feminine energy is receiving energy, and you've probably been just giving, giving, giving all day long to others and not allowing yourself to receive. We want to receive from a man. We want to feel that touch, but allow yourself to receive it with yourself. Everything is energy. We get what we are. We get what we allow ourselves to have and what we allow ourselves to receive. So if anybody has joined since I've been talking and hasn't said hi, please say hi and where you're from. And if you're enjoying this yes practice, I think I see Amy on there or Mary. Oh, Mary said hi. I think I saw Mary Ann. But just say hi and where you're from. I'd love to connect with you and just hear, see who's here. Um, so is this, is this practice making sense? How, did you feel anything? Did you send some energy up and down your body? And will you take this away? So give me some feedback here. Will you take this away and do it more? Okay, okay, yes, all right. All right, so everything is about our energy and our love and our body and embodying this self-inducing activities for ourselves to increase our own oxytocin. Yes, thank you, Mary. Thank you for responding, I really appreciate that. Um, to increase our own oxytocin. The more that we can do that, the more we can dissipate our own, thank you, Rachel, that our own stress levels and the more that we're in the energy of attracting love. Okay, just one moment. Just close my door. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, you know, you, as women, we see the media, we see the commercials, we see the magazines, and there's just this ongoing love-hate relationship that we have about our bodies, right? So the, the next yes practice that I wanna give you, and remember, everything is setting the stage for you to attract love, okay? So, I want you to take this one away with you, but to look in the mirror, 
to look into your eyes, to look into your eyes and tell yourself, I love you. I promise you it's really powerful. It's really, really powerful. If you haven't got to hear those words for a long time, you deserve to say them to yourself. And the more you say them to this yourself, maybe it's hard to look into your eyes the first time. Just try it. Maybe your partner hasn't said it with the right feeling. Maybe you haven't felt him when he has said it. Maybe he just hasn't said it. You know, instead of always telling somebody else what we want, it's okay to ask, and I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit, but just, you don't do this, you don't do this for me, you don't do that for me. You know, we can't really always fix or change them, but when we look at the things that aren't working and we look at ourselves a little closer, we can see if we're open to it, what we're not allowing. And oftentimes, the things that are showing up in front of us from them, and even if there's no them, is a reflection of what we're putting out there. That is why I talk about the feminine genius magnetism. It is magnetism. Okay, so, so every day, every morning, when you brush your teeth, Practice that. And then I also want you to look at your body in a whole new way. If you really want to have ravishing sex and be hugged and touched by a man, you want to attract this mate, you want to have a better relationship, but do you worry about like, then there's gonna be sexual activity and you're not feeling good about that. So why don't you love your body right now? Love all the parts of your body. God gave you this beautiful body and how dare you, how dare any of us to put it down in any way. Appreciate your body. Or are you in a relationship or did you catch yourself in your past relationship hiding when it came to undressing, um, only wanting to have sex in the dark? You know, a man loves a woman's body and he will love your body so much more if he knows that you love your body. So in order to increase the attraction, open up the space for him to fulfill what you really want, practice giving it to yourself first. The masculine wants to be your hero. Remember the masculine energy, energy is penetrating energy, sexual energy, and always. So let yourself have that. I mean, I haven't really talked too much about that, but, you know, somewhere along the line that we, you know, if you've been single for a long time or bad relationship after bad relationship, it's kind of like hard to know where the sexual relationship comes back or try to tell yourself that it doesn't matter. And the truth of it is it does matter, right? It really does matter. Maybe it's not the most important thing. Absolutely not but it's all part of love and romance and it feels good to be wanted and to be cherished and to be ravished and to be kissed and to be appreciated and to have our hand held and our neck caressed. So there's a little ways to bring in that energy with yourself, to connect to yourself and give yourself love. Okay, let me just see. Okay, all right, so those are some practices that you just take away and you're gonna do more on your own. You're gonna to connect to your energy in your body. You're gonna send it throughout your body. You're gonna say, yes, that feels good to have my neck stretched. Yes, that feels good. Or if you didn't feel anything to the yes practice or if it didn't feel good, maybe then just sit back and reflect on that. Is it because I'm not allowing myself to feel good? <clears throat> Is it because I'm afraid to allow myself to feel good? So those are things that may have been happening in a relationship that may be happening right now. 
So do some self-reflection. And through the awakened love process, we dissect that and determine what is going on and put you in other practices that open up that to ensure that you're full-fledged, opened for what you want, but for some reason it hasn't come. Because I promise you will all change. Okay, let's talk about presence. So this is presence as in, I'm present right now, right? So you've got present with me here on this and you got into your body and we're listening and being together. The more that we're present in ourself, in our feminine embodiment, the more presence we get. And I don't from him. And what I mean by that is, sure, gifts, but I mean the more he connects and sees you, the more that he wants you, the more that he feels good with you, the more he's inspired by you, and that's present. That's beautiful present, right? The more he wants to touch and be in your life and take care of you and be your soulmate. So hi, Drisella. I just saw you pop on here, but <laughs> why don't you say where you're from? Thank you for popping in for a little bit. Um, okay, so when I was having you connect to the womb space energy, and I said I was gonna come back to part of that grounding. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do now. <clears throat> so I think I might have mentioned this before. So have you ever been somewhere where you've noticed a woman walked into the room and maybe she was an attractive woman, but maybe not, but there was something about her that you just couldn't take your eyes off of her or that there was just something in the way she walked and the way she carried herself. It was just magnetizing, right? Well, that woman has presence and she's grounded in her feminine energy and that shows up in the way she talks, or excuse me, I'll, yes, talks too, but first in the way she walks. So oftentimes you can be out going to the mall, walking down the street, or you know, at the grocery store, and you see women that are just plodding along, not paying attention to, I don't know, just totally distracted, totally in a rush, kind of like going forward, hurry, hurry, hurry. Maybe you're catch yourself rushing to go to work, rushing to go to the meeting, rushing, 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 so you're always in that rushing energy not present in your body, always maybe looking at the phone and your energy is out there where it's going and not in here. So practice this tomorrow. Wherever you go to work, whatever. When you get out of the car, just take a moment and ground yourself in your body. Just imagine, just for a moment, just drop your energy down out of your headspace, out of worrying about getting in there. What are you gonna do when you get in there? And get present with yourself and connect. And you can still walk with a pace, but you will have more of a flow to you. You will flow more in your body. You will not be like this rushing walking, but you will have flow. You'll lean back, you'll be, feel more confident. You'll rise your head up and it'll feel differently. You'll feel much more confident. And that's very attractive in just the way a woman walks with a grace and a flow. It's not just scooting along. It's not rushing, plodding along. It's just a nice, graceful walk. You can feel your energy. Allow yourself just to be in your body and feel it. Okay, so now, presence in your body also affects the way you talk. And this is what, these are the things I trust you. If you're meeting a man for the first time and you're having that date after work, you want to get out of that masculine headspace, that work energy, and get embodied. And so you sit down and talk to him. And when a woman is really disconnected from her feminine energy, she's either talking really fast really loud and forceful, or kind of a squeaky, you know, like looking down, afraid to talk, kind of squeaky. You know what I mean, the energy is just down. 
But when you're present in your body and you're aware of what you're saying, what you're doing, and you're connecting, because when you're present means you're looking at them, you're, remember I talked about the eye contact, you're making eye contact, you're also listening, so you're not so worried in your headspace about saying the right thing, what I gotta say, oh my God, I have to ask questions, he's gonna think I'm not interested, or you're wanting so much to be heard because you haven't allowed yourself to speak any other time, or you're trying to control the conversation because you're in the masculine, that you're not listening. So being present and connecting to a man is speaking with a nice, even tone, with confidence, without yelling, without shutting down your voice, thinking that you don't have anything to say so you get meek and squeaky, but you just talk with a nice, even tone. And you're listening to him. So he feels this energy. He feels, because he's in the masculine energy all day long, having to be more aggressive, the other men, you know how men are like fighting and loud and they get like that. But when a woman is present in her body and she's listening and she's making eye contact and she's letting him say what he wants to say to her and she's not competing for the airspace, she's not competing for uh, one and upping him, but just breathing it in. It's kind of more of a leaning back and taking it in and really connecting. I know you know this. I know you've heard this. Maybe you haven't heard it was feminine energy. Maybe you haven't heard it was allowing yourself to receive in your body so that he can feel you. He can feel you connecting to him. And as we continue to talk about this and you review the traits that we talked about the first couple of days of the masculine energy traits and ways of being, you'll practice those. You'll be present with him. You'll make eye contact. That's a way of flirting also. You'll hold the gaze. So I talked about flirting yesterday about maybe you haven't met him yet, but you see him across the room and you're holding the eye contact as flirtation. But this is when you have met him. When maybe you're going on the first date and you're connecting. You're connecting through understanding the feminine traits of how you present yourself, how you listen, how you're not competing, how you are giving him energy and space to show up for you. And we're gonna talk more and more about that even tomorrow, what really excites him, that what he looks for in a woman in, in the date, in the way she carries herself, so you'll be able to fill that basket even more to understand him. But presence is an extremely powerful feminine way. It's being in your body. So I've had workshops on this and women show up and practice this and we do it together and had no idea this was even part of something that they could practice that would help them not only feel more feminine but to look more feminine, and it didn't even change her clothes. <laughs> she didn't even put on the sexy dress. She didn't even, you know, put on the short shorts because that's what we get messages from, right? That that's how we get seen. That's how we attract the man. No, the way we attract the man and keep the man is to be in our feminine energy, to embody it at all levels, and to have presence, to love ourselves, to be in the pleasure zone, to go through all the things I've talked about, and then taking it forward is to recognize, like through the dysfunction things we talked about yesterday, the subconscious things, the habits that, you know, if you've been single for a long time, or if you've had some really bad relationships, if you've been with narcissistic men, if you've been abandoned and rejected and, and talked down to, that builds up a lot of pain and hurt. And those things are 
kind of get stuck on us and those things need to be worked through. So I promise you that can happen. I promise you that if you haven't met the right man yet, that you can. I promise you that if you feel like there's no good men out there, there are, and you can meet him. I promise you if you've been divorced once, twice, and you feel like you've almost given up because you're too old, I promise you, you can have love. I promise you this because I work with women every day. I was talking to a woman today who said, I just want to go home and have somebody there that I can talk to, that I don't have to fix the dinner and eat by myself, that if I had a win in my business and I want to share it, I can share it with somebody that's actually going to listen and celebrate with me. I'm tired of going home and being by myself. I'm okay to be in my business and doing that on my own because I've created that on my own. But she had no idea that she was repelling the men from her because she didn't know how to switch. Because as so many women in our world right now have been taught unconsciously, at no fault of your own, to be in the masculine all the time. Being in it sometimes okay. So it might sound confusing, but I promise you, you can learn how to change this up. And it's not only about attracting him right now, but it's about sustaining and having long lasting love. It's designing your life right now before he's even in it. It's really uncovering. I mean, we could say, you know, if I ask you, what do you want in a relationship? So what do you want, Drusella? So what do you want, Rachel? So what do you want, Mary? So what do you want, Amy? You probably have a, maybe a little bit of an idea, but I bet you have a lot of an idea about what you don't want. And the more we stay focused on what we don't want, the more that we get that. The more that we start recycling men, the more that we're getting rejected, the more that the men are ghosting us, the more that we're not getting the second date, the more that we're feeling lonely because energy matches energy. So sometimes it's hard to know what you don't want if you haven't experienced it. But this is why we've been talking about this the last four days. Because when you can learn to connect with your deeper wisdom inside yourself, in your feminine, the feminine genius magnetism, the genius part of it is a mind, body, spirit inside your body, inside you, inside your wisdom, connecting to divine guidance that knows you at a soul level. But you just haven't been able to hear it or give it time to listen or be able to shut down because you thought you had to do all these external things. You thought you had to go on to figure out this next dating site. You thought you had to have the perfect profile. You thought you had to have the perfect picture. You thought you had to do this, do this, and do this. And then, you know, the truth of it is, at the end of the day, you're exhausted and depleted. And that's not an energy of love. So, I hope that's making some sense. I'm checking my time. Okay, so we're getting close to the end of the hour. So your homework is to get in your body, to just start feeling the energy, drop it down into your womb space, move it through your body, do the yes practice. At the end of the challenge, I will be giving you a recording for an extended version of this practice. But I want you to continue to say yes to you. You said yes to showing up here. You said yes to joining the challenge. If you're watching the replay, type in replay and say yes, I'm watching the replay. Continue to say yes to you. And say yes to no longer waiting. Say yes to I'm ready now. Say yes to I want to get through all the pain, the past, the experiences, the things that I feel like I just keep doing over and over again. I don't know how to do this on my own. It all sounds great, right? That happens a lot. It sounds good. So that's why I do what I do. 
because I'm an expert at this. I am on a mission to create love more and more in the world. And I'm doing this for you because I learned to do it for me when I was <laughs> failed, two failed marriages. I know it's painful. We all have stories, right? But the story can change. So say yes to you. If you want to book a call with me, please book a call with me. Learn exactly what I'm talking about and how it works for you. You don't have to know the how. If you're resonating with this, that's good enough because you're saying yes right now. So many times we say yes a little bit and then I'll figure it out on my own. Well, how long are you going to keep waiting, right? So yes is now. <laughs> so book a call with me and we'll talk through the exact process for you. It's a 90 day process and you will come out a completely different woman. You will meet the right man. You will enrich your relationship. You will get rid of all this shit that's in the way, that's blocking it, that you don't even know is there. Okay. I opened my calendar. I got some calls today. That was beautiful. You know who you are and we're on the journey. And I'm on the journey with you. If you're still not sure, let's talk about it. I mean, the truth of it is you probably are sure. So just continue to say yes. Awaken love is for you. I promise you it will happen. I promise you you'll meet him. I promise you you can create epic love. It will change everything in your life. It'll even change your career. It'll change everything. Okay, my darling, thank you for joining today. Take the practice away. I hope you got something out of this. If you're watching the replay, let me know if you have any questions after this is over. You can come back and ask. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about all things men. I think I wrote on one of the things. It's raining men. We're going to do some decoding, understanding more of him. Continue to build on what we've been doing the last four days to make it completely epic for you. I'm giving you as much as I can, but just know that there's still always the subconscious things we need to work through. And that's an individual thing. And there is processes that can break that all down and put, make this year your epic year for love. So there's a link above this, above the video for Awaken Love. Go to the page, read about it, book a call, and let's talk about it some more. Until tomorrow, do your practices. Okay, my dear, time is up. I will see you tomorrow.